what data engineers actually do iske bare mein we'll be talking about and i'll be clearing off many of the myths that you guys are having some people think of ki if you are having a like if you are a fresher and you are having a skill of a sql and python or something like that you can target all kind of roles in data that is data analyst or data scientist or data engineer no see if you are into a market that is very uh, like it it has started booming last from past 4 years 5 years so firstly be very clear basically that is when you are entering going for an interview what exactly matters is you know about the roles and in the full video i'll be very interview focused i'll be very job focused exactly how and what exactly you need to do in that situation firstly try to understand firstly what is a data engineer and what exactly they do you can assume it as like uh, if you are talking about like uh, data in a very lame uh, language that is they are the plumbers of the data what exactly it means basically there are different sources of the water okay there are different sources of the water we have rivers we have ocean we have different kinds of lakes these all sources are there but exactly how do you get water in your uh, like in your homes through a pipeline okay and a water is very streamlined water is clean water is good to use you drink that water you, you wash your utensils you use for bath everything you do so exactly how it happens how it go, it gets segregated how the two things are getting cleared how you know ki ha from this i we want to drink and from this water i need to bath how do you are getting to know so basically that is a real life use case of a data engineer basically that is let me be very clear let me be bit bit more technical that is there are different sources of data suppose you are going for facebook you are talking about facebook or amazon there are not only one source of data there are different different sources of data from where the data is coming in and how the data is getting stored and there are different different kinds of raw data coming in okay so a data engineer is responsible to collect all those data collect all those data and streamline it into a pipeline and then load it into a data warehouse or a database or a lake house anything so that data analyst or a data scientist or a business analyst or anyone can come and directly query on that data and use those kind of data it helps a lot okay that is a clean data refined data that a data scientist and data analyst work upon but the work of a data engineer is to collect those all data segregate clean make it streamline and keep it into a proper system that is clean and directly can be queried that is a work of a data engineer okay that is a simple definition or understanding of a data engineer other than that basically what problems do they solve exactly uh, when you are working as a data engineer how exactly or what exactly a date looks like firstly they clean the raw data suppose there are different kind of data so if you are submitting a form Uh, into a it is a banking form suppose so there are no much constraint on the banking form so what you do or a person do basically they enter like only nine uh, nine letters or nine digits in the phone mobile number and directly enters it and saves it similarly on the email id directly random email id he enters and saves it some suppose 10 people are there date is getting like there is a option to enter a date some people will uh, enter into yyddmm format some people will enter into ddmm yy format or something like that they will enter so basically what is a mistake or what is the thing is happening that is the data is not streamlined data is not consistent data is of different different kind some people is file uh, entering into a different kind some people is entering into a different kind so what exactly happens there is no consistency in the data there is no data integrity okay so that is a problem that is a problem not a data integrity there is no consistency in the data data is very different different data is not in a clean manner or in a consistent manner so that is a work of a data engineer another so how this data getting clean it is by you by the use case of a, a data pipeline a data engineers are responsible to build these kind of pipelines so that they can clean these kind of data that is a very important aspect to understand about this thing another thing that is third step that is basically to move the data from one system to another suppose there are xxxx systems so they want to So collect those data from there so suppose there are some blob storage there is some gcs storage there is some sql warehouse the data is getting stored so now they want to collect those all data and come and keep into a one place or segregate and keep into a data warehouse that is a requirement basically so what uh, is required they need to build this kind of system they need, uh, need to be able these kind of connections so that 
they can connect those two system and stream the data or flow the data that is very very important so other than that basically what kind of tools are used if you are going for a data engineer if you want to learn about data engineering start with sql sql is a core concept if you don't know about sql because in interviews also basically till 4 years 5 years 6 years 7 years mostly sql queries are asked you should know about the basics you should know about ki how sql queries are working what is the optimization techniques if you are using index what exactly is happening behind that other than that windows functions and all these or things are very very important sql is very important python is important exactly how to do those kind of automations how to build those kind of pipelines exactly how it happens that is important other than that understanding of big data is very very important because in theoretical uh, interviews also these kind of questions are asked other than that PySpark. PySpark is important it is a api of python only that he uses that is made that is a wrapper api it is a wrapper built on top of the apache spark so you use distributed computing basically distributed uh, computing to use to process your data distributed in distributed manner so exactly this is how it helps other than that a cloud you can add databricks databricks one of the tool i have worked across all the clouds and i can say databricks is one of the uh, cloud that will help you to understand it is a unified platform firstly and for free you can use anything for any number of days so directly they have given an access of free edition directly when you go i'm not promoting anything uh, they, they 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 have not sponsored anything but yes you can go i am skilled in databricks i am a databricks certified data engineer so definitely i can say that i have been working in that about 1.5 years so it is a great platform it is a great platform to learn spark and directly you can go write the code of spark and understand i have made many project videos on that spark so definitely it will help you other than that basically you should know exactly what is the clarity what is the difference between a data analyst what is the difference between what a data analyst does what a data scientist does what a data engineer does that is a very very good understanding that should you should have other than that what skills do you need to become like if you want to start with i'll suggest sql make the strongest base on that very very important python dsa is not that much important but how to build a logic how to write those kind of uh, uh, like python scripts that is very very important so how you can learn that go on uh, uh, like power uh, this one hacker rank and do some problem solving questions it helps a lot and share on linkedin it is very very important cloud basics are important start with databricks understand about what is data warehouse what is lake house what is these all things uh, understanding is very very important okay some real uh, life scenarios you can build some projects you can build that will help and if you want to start everything from scratch i i, I take a boot camp basically that is called as a data x boot camp i have it i have been guiding many professionals to get into data engineering field many fresh to get into the field many uh, career switchers many career gap people many non-it people to get into data engineering if you want to get into data engineering if you want a guided path i have an end-to-end boot camp that helps you to do all this thing and you can do at your own pace so don't need to worry about that thing link is in the description directly you can go and explore it it is live plus self uh, self-paced or any questions any problems you have directly reach out to the support number directly i have given directly reach out and you can hear uh, get a coupon code also in the description also i have given you and if you contact definitely if you have some problems if you have some doubts reach out your answers will be your questions will be answered right away thank you so much for watching this particular video i think so i have given you a good understanding of what exactly a data engineer does what exactly is the work of a data engineer so those all things matter if you want to learn these things definitely anyone can get into this field i have seen many people from different different backgrounds i have seen switching into this particular field and get a high paying role and i am an example in front of you that i i am a 4.5 years of experience and i have a decent very decent package right now uh, so definitely you can do it so this was all about a video thank you so much for watching this video any problems anything reach out all the links are in the description directly reach out thank you so much bye bye